You can't hear this kind of hard-hitting, long, drawn-out programming anywhere else. But you have to give money. That's right, Jonathan. Money is important. It can be exchanged for goods and services, like getting a hip replacement or funding a starving child in Australia. I feel all covered with flies right now. Call us. Pledge your money. Give 10% of your income. That's all we ask. And for that, you know everyone can be educated on the important things we discuss on VCPR. 10% is a really small amount. I remember when I was volunteering in Central America to make myself appear less shallow. The native peoples would give you 10% of their land for a pair of mirrored sunglasses. And they would run around me saying, chicle, chicle, which is as fast. Диас был доволен и хочет встретиться еще раз. Это хороший знак. Конечно, хотя я начинаю думать, что Диас ответственен за нашу утрату. Почему вы так думаете? Никто открыто не обвиняет такого человека, как Диас. Я просто думаю вслух. Неважно, у меня есть предложение, выгодное для вас. У меня нет времени для ваших заданий, Картес. Я думал, что человек с такими опасными долгами будет рад возможности. Пожалуйста, Томми, по крайней мере, выслушай меня. Продолжайте. У меня есть покупатель для военного оборудования, которое привезли в город. Возьмите его для меня. А когда получите его, я хочу, чтобы вы немедленно... The corporation is working on it right now. I know, I read about it. I tell my kids not to kiss other kids at school. It might be an android, suck your brains out. You must have seen the mini-series event on television. I read it in a book. We've got to stop looking at the stars, all this science fiction, and focus on the family. Now, if you really want to dance like you're on the moon, go there and leave us in peace. And that's a fact. Uh, uh, what's a fact? I'm sorry, Maurice, but I have to tell you, I moved to Florida to bring my kids up the American way in a theme park. And that's just the kind of person I am, opinionated and moronic. I see. Well, this panel is certainly interesting. The issue is morality. Recently, rock artists joined together to provide famine aid to Alaska with the song, Do They Know It's the Fourth of July? Critics complain it's immoral to meddle in the affairs of other peoples and cultures. Pastor Richards... What? Uh, what do you make of meddling in other people's business like an over-opinionated sociopath? Well, let me say that money could have gone to much better things like reserving a place by my side in the Pastor Richard Salvation statue. But I digress and plug. Stop doing Don't that. Don't interrupt me, boy. Anywho, I address the Alaska issue in Chapter 23 of my book. You see, the Alaskans are lunatics, plain and simple. They eat whales and snow, and they sleep in the freezer. Who wants to eat snow every day? Oh, I tried to help. I sent a helicopter with copies of my book, but they burned them in a pile for heat. If the people of Alaska choose to live there, let them. But don't come crying when you're tired of eating penguin and it snows 18 feet a day. Yes, but don't you think it's important? I think to- it's very important to listen to me, young man. That's what makes the state of Florida great. Rather than help improve where they are, people nationwide abandon their hometowns, come down here, and shove their beliefs down everyone else's throats. That's the American way, always has been. We should send some pictures of Florida to those people in Alaska. I tell you, they'd throw down that bear pelt, saddle up the sled dogs, and get pulled all the way to Vice City. And I should know, I'm from Mars. No, you're not. Uh, Mars, Alabama. I founded three colleges there. The problem with Alaska is that people don't get naked. If you can't work on the booty bunch of sell that. Sir, yes, sir! Convoy, stay! Kiss the paint! Grozdansky Uhadistanka! Grozdansky Tanka!
as I saw in a Mother's PTA group meeting recently. Baseball is our national sport, our national pastime. Joining together as men in order to reward the act of running around in a circle. I will thank you not to take its name in vain, Chavez. I hate that spring training. Who do those guys think they are? Coming here and getting in the way, showing us no respect, drinking our orange juice and seducing our women folk. Train in your own home, mister. Our national game down here, my friend, is digging. Digging a big ditch. A ditch of hope, which will flood into a river of freedom. So far, we've dug 17 feet. We're almost free, almost, when we are floating away in the Caribbean Sea, free to run things our way, singing Kumbaya in the sunshine. No school, no tax, free barbecue and pinball for everyone. Sophisticated entertainment. Yes, well, what about the little guy? What about the guy who is standing there saying, I like being part of America. I like it a lot. I get public radio. I can hear Maurice Chavez. I own a small one-bedroom home. Tommy, это Дональд Лав. Это Томми Версети. Последний стрелок из этой стороны. Дональд, заткнись и слушай, может чему-то научишься. Ничто не снижает цены на недвижимость лучше, чем старая добрая война гангстеров. Это может быть катастрофа, как библейская чума. Но это может быть и не так в данном случае. Ты понял? Ты четырехглазый придурок. Недавно погиб хозяин банды гаитян. Вероятно, это сделали кубинцы. Никто не знает точно. Но сделаем это точным. Ты замаскируешься кубинцем и пойдешь на похороны. Развороши там все. Ты понял, Дональд? Так пустим в лесу в курятник, да? А потом мы просто сядем и будем наблюдать, как падают цены. Of the mall to ward off predators. And that's supposed to terrify people? No, no. We believe passionately in non-violent solutions to life's problems. Gangs have to learn to love, to be inclusionary. We'd award badges to good gangs and give bad gangs a silly hat to wear. It would give people something to feel a part of. Kill with kindness, not a garden tool. Yes, but what about the guy getting beaten up on the street? Or the man having his motorcycle stolen? What about him? Or her? Some of the best bikers are really women. Anyone can join our group. This is about poor people getting together. But your father owns half of Florida. How are you part of the working class? Like I said, possessions are not important at all. I'll pick up a hitchhiker in my convertible any day. The other day I picked up a young woman and we discussed a non-violent solution to war. We called it peace. Your father is a great man. He's done more for the army. will get you nowhere. This country needs something to aim for, like being rich and laughing at poor people, or being in government and laughing at the electorate. Now, now, Mr. Shrub, let's not make this personal. I appreciate your attempt to press the point, but we are here to press the issue. My city is in trouble, and I think we're not really providing any serious solutions. So far, we've got secessionism, rearing its ugly head for the first time in a century and a half. We've got ignore it, and we've got, give everyone a flower. You're all a, a little unrealistic, yes? Nah, uh, come on, I just have you one there, my friend. How, how on earth do you do that? Well, you could let them off. Marvelous. Great. That's a sensible plan. Then they wouldn't be guilty anymore. We've been doing that for years, you idiot. How do you think we keep prison costs down? They ain't by magic or cook in the books. We save that for education. But, as in most things, we in government are saving money so that you don't have to. When we spend less money...
scum of the earth in my book. And look at the great societies they built. People want to be told how to act. And most people are idiots, and that's exactly who my teachings appeal to. This lawless, permissive society has no boundaries, and without boundaries, how do you know where the limits are? You have to know what's good and what's evil. You need someone to tell you so. Single moms have obese kids, it's a fact. While rich people have a lot of guilt, unnecessarily, in my opinion. I agree. I don't think these people understand just how hard it is to potty train. You have to give a treat when Precious makes it poopy. My kids are big boned and they eat prunes every day. But that's what's wrong with this country. All of this emphasis on being thin and healthy. When my children are hungry, I hand them a spear and send them out to the park to catch their own food. They're learning how to be self-sufficient. Yesterday, my youngest, Jono, killed the postman, but at least he was trying. So I gave him a cuddle, I told him to hit daddy next time he comes home late smelling of cheap perfume. Okay, it's time to take a break before we hear about any more criminal acts against government employees. You're listening to Pressing Issues. Morality is the subject at hand. Let's explain exactly how free radio without commercial breaks works. We'll be right back. You're listening to VCPR, finally a radio station for teachers and librarians. You've been enjoying pressing issues, but as is normal, you can't listen to an hour's worth of programming on this station without us begging for money. It's the Bi-Daily Begathon here on VCPR. Hey, Leo, for you there is work. It's not Leo. Слышишь, Лео, можешь убить того, кто взял его телефон. А может, Лео уже труп? Может, я убил его и снял телефон с трупа? Ты о таком не думал? Ты убил Лео? Тогда ты крут. Хочешь поработать на меня? Зайди в кафе моего отца в маленькой Гаване и поговорим. 